Hey, what's going on you guys? Doc here. Welcome back to another video on the channel where today is going to be a basically a sequel to the uh, how to overclock your photo uh, how to overclock your RAM on your laptop. All right. So you might be asking, well, why are you making a, why are you making a second video to this? Well, the reason why is because for months I have been given I've been given constant questions about how to overclock your RAM and how to do this and that and things aren't working for me I can't do it this version don't work I go to the download page it doesn't work for me so instead of just continuously answering questions why not instead we make an updated video updated videos are always better to address more of the things that I've learned over this time of doing some research for people and for myself included so yeah i'm not gonna waste any more of your guys' time uh just asking for you guys to please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos yeah, like this yeah. and if i help you out i'd really appreciate it if you guys just you know leave a like or even stay by and subscribe all right so let's get started okay so let me start with my version okay of uh intel extreme tuning okay so, my, the thing with mine is that it is for my CPU. My CPU. This CPU that I own is a 10th gen 10750H. Okay? That's a 6 core 12 thread processor. And the reason why I'm, I'm declaring this is because this is for 10th for gen. The This is for 6.5.40. 6.5.40 or 6.5.2.40 is for um, 10th gen CPUs, okay? So, since I have a 10th gen CPU, this will work for me. You'll see that the RAM is unlocked and stuff like this is unlocked, okay? Now, let's head to basically, let's go to Intel's website, uh, Intel Extreme Tuning. All right, whoops, I don't even think that's it. Okay. Yeah, so if we go to their website, the only one that they are offering is 7.6.0.37. This version, okay, is only available for 12th gen CPUs and some of the higher gen 10th and 11th. Uh, wait, 11th not even there. That's weird. Anyways, so what does this mean? So basically, if I were to install this onto my computer, it would not work because it will say that the CPU is not compatible. So basically, this is only for you guys that own a 12th gen CPU inside of your laptop. You can see that these are laptop CPUs. That one is. Uh, maybe a, a few of them that aren't listed will be. Oh yeah, there's 11th gen. Yeah, if you see, most of these are desktop CPUs. If you have a desktop CPU, the newest version of Intel XE will work for you. But that's not what we're after, okay? So we need some older versions of Intel XTU, all right? So down in the description, I am going to have for 7th gen, 8th gen, 9th gen, my version, and 11th, and the newest version. So for that, um, this will basically give you guys some information on what version actually works. And I'm going to give you a few tips on if you even should overclock your RAM, like I kind of claimed you needed to in the original video all right so is overclocking safe yes it is 100 safe this was a question that a lot of people asked me it is safe um you get you have no problems with that there will be it'll be a clean overclocking ram bada bing bada boom you have no worry okay second question is it worth it kind of the reason why i say kind of is because on old CPUs, so basically 7th gen, 8th gen, they don't really need to be overclocked. Their RAM amount is around 2400 to 2066. And if like over that amount, it don't make sense. See, I have a laptop that has a 7th gen Intel processor in it, and it basically, it maxes out at 2014. I have not tried to overclock it. It probably could work, but I've just have never tried it. Okay, so yeah, there's that. Um, but with night gen, it does work. There's been a lot of people in the comments that says it works. I have tested it. It works and vice versa. 
uh, uh, 11th gen and 12th gen both confirm uh, both can be overclocked. All right. Next question. What speed of RAM should I be overclocking at? Well, basically, overclocking your RAM, uh, you know, matters about the speed of what you want to overclock it to. So from 7th to 8th gen, I would say 2066. 9th and 10th gen, I would say 2933. 11th and up, 3200. That has just been some basic benchmarks that I've done. Uh, I mean, not ev now this could be a different thing. Uh, not every 9th gen will max out at 2033. I've seen some that goes to 3200. And that game, that same thing goes for uh, 10th gen CPUs. I believe that the 10850H can hit 3200. So if you have that, you can do it. Um, so basically, yeah, but I could be wrong. So be careful with overclocking. Don't overdo it and don't worry about it. Okay, but next comes, there comes that question. What if I do overdo it? If you do overdo it, do not panic. The computer will just go black. The computer will not boot up and you may think it's broken. Well, if you give it like a minute, it will turn off. And what it will do is it will reset the BIOS back to default settings of its RAM speed. And basically you'll just go back to your default settings. So you got nothing to worry about there. It will fix itself. So then comes the next question. How do you overclock? This was a question that a lot of people had for me. Okay, so 7th to 9th gen, you do not need to go to the BIOS. The, you will already have that unlocked. You will not have any worry in the world for what to do because basically you can just open up Intel XTU, overclock around. You don't have any worry about it there. Now, 10th gen and up, this is where things get a little bit weird. Basically, you can overclock your RAM, but a lot of times uh, they have locked down the BIOS. Uh, the computers that I have known that have locked down the BIOS is Lenovo, and I don't, I think Asus and ROG, but that could be just certain models. Some models could have unlocked uh, RAM uh, overclocking and this overclocking in general. But I do know for a fact that MSI is completely fine because there is an advanced BIOS that does work. And basically, I will show the video here. I'm going to be showing you how to get inside the BIOS. So to get in the BIOS, you have to spam, wait, you have to turn off your computer completely, turn it back on, and then press the delete key or F2 as fast as you can. So then, if the, if the computer will not boot into Windows, it will boot into the BIOS. Now, on the screen of the BIOS, you will not be able to see anything uh, but like the home menu, the advanced menu. Well, basically then, we can't overclock anything right now. But we have to get inside the advanced BIOS. Now, how to get into the advanced BIOS is that you have to hold right shift, right control, left alt, and F2. All at the same time. And when you do that, then you get inside the advanced BIOS. When you get inside the advanced BIOS, Go over to this. Go over to the setting called Advanced. Scroll down and it say something about overclocking, and overclock uh, uh, something about performance overclocking. Then when you're there, you scroll down a little bit and it should say Intel XTU. This will then turn on the the setting to overclock with the program Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Turning that on, going back over to save and and exit. Hit uh, save and exit. Then hit enter, and then you're out of there. The computer will then reboot. It might take a little. That is how you get into the advanced BIOS on, uh, and that's how you open up Intel XTU on an MSI BIOS. So yeah, um, that's about it for how to overclock RAM. It's pretty easy if you have a uh, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth gen MSI laptop because that's what I own. If I had other laptops, I would 100%. Do you guys a favor and 100% try to get into the advanced BIOS or even try to overclock them. But sadly, I don't. So I can't really go into detail about what I would do. Okay. So next comes uh, AMD. AMD laptops. I have no clue how to overclock you guys. I'm sorry. I don't. So that's about it for information that I can really give you. This is just kind of a rundown because nothing has really changed. But I can just basically show you how to overclock the RAM again. Way to overclock, since you're on the screen, you're going to see 
Where's it at? Here you go. Here's your RAM memory. All right, you're gonna see multiplier. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna wanna leave that at the 1.33 multiplier, and then you're gonna click this. That's 28. Click it again. 29.33. Hit play. That's how you do. I don't have mine overclocked because that is my own choice. Uh, I just haven't seen a benefit, but you know that's just, it's just whatever you want to do, really. So yeah, I mean it's worth it. Yeah, you get more performance out of games and editing and rendering and stuff like that. But for my personal information, my personal usage, the reason why I don't do it is because my computer is basically pushed to its knees on what I'm doing. I literally have a three monitor setup, tons of USB ports, a lot of lot of power being pulled out of the computer, and my CPU, and my graph, and my inter internal graphics have been basically undervolted to basically compose so much heat that is inside the computer. So that is why mine is not overclocked. But before that, yeah, overclocking was fun. It was worth it. It worked. It was nice. Didn't have many problems. So yeah, guys, that's about it. I really don't think I have anything else to ex to um, to say. I mean, there, yeah, of course, there's going to be questions about people saying, can you help me with uh, opening up my advanced BIOS? And I will try my hardest to help you guys out. So please leave your comments down in the description. I'm not the description. Leave your comments down in the comment section so I can try to help you. But yeah, that's about it. I don't really have anything else to say for this tech video. Anyway, guys. Be careful with your PC, yeah, yeah. and have a good day.